cut out the doors already and I got my door blank sitting aside. There's one that's already cut out and there's the other. I want to know why I didn't use the pieces that I cut from the camper. Uh, as you can see here, I wanted to have my seam up here so that's all the seam that I have that'll be showing instead of a big seam back here because it's 10 feet long. So this is what my door would look like. I mean, although it's nice and flush, I just want a seam in my door. And I didn't want a seam back here. So right now, uh, I'll show you my process of making the lip in the door so that you have ample space for a door gasket. Let's uh, make sure that these fit. Yep. Now let's put a little glue on. Be sure to glue them up real good. And make sure when you staple these on there that your staple is not so long that it'll come out through the other side. And if it if you're using a three-quarter inch staple, you might want to angle your gun a little bit so that it won't come out the other side. <laughs> Put that right there. millimeter on there it gives me that much space for a gasket because you don't want your gasket to now be crushed. If it's crushed it doesn't you know, it probably won't work but it doesn't do the job properly. A little dark in here with the roof panel on. It's okay. Got some light coming. Got some light coming. up here to get that so we're gonna have to cut that out with a manual handsaw. Imagine this is on 
little piece of plywood on there like that overlapping so the door's got something to shut against. That gives you 2.5 millimeters for a nice gasket. Now you got a little sanding to do and cut this piece out. We should be good to go. We're going to have maybe some shelves up here. No galley, so there's going to be plenty of space in here. Okay. See you on the next video. Thanks for watching.